Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Jania with some more Mars anomalies. Thank you for joining me again. We're in the Southern Hemisphere this time, looking at a region called Hellespontes Montes, and I'll be showing you some mysterious looking disks and triangular objects that are spotted in this photograph called Dune Symmetry and as always you can find links to the reference material in the description below acquired on the 28th of December 2009 at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel and I'll be showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file there's a crop from the black and white low res JPEG and uh, I thought I'd chuck in these color images cropped from the color RGB strip get the cool colors and features the smaller dunes to the left of particular interest to me especially the way that they dried out and seem to be overlapping each other there check that out very interesting some high mineral content in the sand over there I guess the smaller dunes, check those out. We've got some symmetry and geometry going on there too. Awesome photograph. This region is located 42.66 degrees south, 38.02 degrees east in the circular depression. It's been scanned by the high rise orbiter quite a couple of times. So we'll be checking out the topography and some of the other anomalies that are found in this region of Mars towards the end of the video. So the first mysterious disk-like object is located right there. And I'd estimate its diameter to be between 4 and 5 meters. And I'm not sure if it's somehow attached to this larger structure. But check out that... Uh, nice rounded side over there looks almost as if it could be like a pear shape coming up to an apex over there and as I said I don't know if it's attached to this larger piece it's definitely lying against this larger artifact over there to the right and then uh, it's also got this strange flange like piece coming off to the one side so could this be some type of little disc like craft or perhaps like a, a dish used for communications or something like a round mirror very bright smooth object then the other little triangular part is right there in the center of this one and I'd say each side is about two to three meters you can see one, two, three sides to it. Not sure if this is a little pyramidal feature or not, but check out the straight edges there. Almost a perfect triangle. Off to the left, we've got this uh, dark spot. Almost a perfect circle. And then this larger piece, like a base, definitely extending over the edge of this uh, dune over there to the right and I'm not sure it looks as if there's a, a concave round feature inside the shadow that'd be a little craft as well or maybe just a little structure in the form of a pyramid and then uh, from the color RGB strip Lots of anomalies in this region too, which I'll feature in a follow-up video to this one. Check out the disc-like feature there next to the little triangle. And I'd estimate that to be about 12 meters in diameter. And uh, the triangular side or shape next to it with a little hole in it. I'd say this bright side is about 10 meters long. Check out the disc-like feature there next to it. And then lying next to it on its side is this triangular part. Smooth straight edge running through there. And then there's some design at the apex over here. 
and then that little concave circular feature right there and then to the right another disc like object with a little protrusion on it right there near the center and then some bright metallic looking or maybe even marble smooth polished marble piece on the right check that out there got a little structure on top of a structure there's another megalithic piece with a very bright sphere on it some intricate designs in this as I say we'll check these out in a follow-up video after this one so we've got that circular item about five meters in diameter little triangular object about two to three meters per side then uh, this larger disc like object lying on its side next to that triangular piece there almost like a megalithic slab or block and then another smaller disc like item over there and then this little piece to the right looks almost like those objects seen by Kenneth Arnold a couple of decades ago very interesting to see these featured in one photograph so let's go over to Google Earth and we check out Mars up close down to the southern hemisphere to Hellespontes Montes and uh, the anomalies we checked out is in the circular depression and there some of them are just for a quick summary Around here in Pi Crater, we've got these strange megalithic objects. Check out that piece over there. It looks almost like a piece of metal with that hole in it. Straight edge to it, right angles. Various smaller pieces. These look almost like pieces uh, broken off a larger structure, like shards. Check out that block over there, got a cool design to it, very smooth flat surface. Check out that small little disc, top of that large piece, that's about 3 meters in diameter, that one. Another disc, little dome on it. Check out that perfect little disc over there, with a little protrusion or dome on it. That one there is about 5 meters in diameter. This is also where I found this strange object that looks almost like a scarab beetle. It's about 12 meters long. Very similar to those stone carvings of scarabs found in Egypt. Plenty of anomalies in this part of Mars. This is also where I found that little craft like object that's about 12 meters long. Very similar to those that uh, Georgia Tukalos features in Ancient Aliens. We've got layering of smaller objects on top of that disk over there. And then uh, megalithic slabs or metal plates stacked on top of one another. Plenty of objects over here in this region. This is uh, some of the artifacts found by my friends at an arc. Looks very machine like that piece we have got a megalithic block or pillar some slabs this piece of yeah very unusual very straight that little part coming off perpendicular to the larger piece got a cube and next to it is a, it looks like a type of a sphere or ball. A 
between a partial circular object with a straight edge running through it, 90 degree angle over here on the one side, looks like a long narrow opening over there, little triangle on the top, in the center, very strange items there. This is where I found uh, what looks like the right hand side of a sculpted face with the eyebrow and eye over there, the nose, and then uh, the chin piece seems to be broken off. One of my friends on uh, my YouTube channel checked it out and he said we should mirror this piece and place it next to one another. It looks very much uh, like some type of God figurehead. Check at that block over there. You can see three of the sides. I'm not sure if the sunlight shining through from the left to the right. Check at that there. It's almost like it could be an archway. Or oh, that's a smaller piece coming out into the sunlight to the right. And we've got a perfect block little piece cut out of the one corner so very similar to those found in Egypt and South America oh yes and that megalithic block over there is about I think 70 or so meters tall and 35 meters wide I can't recall offhand and then uh, we've got walled structures these huge megalithic blocks and then over to the east got these strange surface features looks like they've been mining over here I call it bad water industrial complex or mining operation this is a uh, zoomed out we've got some symmetry and geometry in these uh, features over there on the surface but up close it looks as if these areas have been machined or carved out to get the straight edges in that right angles these look like access ways there's another good example there of straight edges and right angles Let's go back to this part of the photograph and have a look at the surrounding topography. So it's in that circular depression. A smooth, flat inner part. It looks almost as if uh, it was filled with water in the distant past. And uh, the objects sort of uh, moved to the center as the water dried out and collected over there. Very flat, smooth part of Mars, this. That's it for this short video. I'll do a follow-up in where we have a look at the other anomalies that are discovered in this high-rise photograph. You can always find me on Facebook, Twitter, or over at my blog. And uh, please do share these videos with your friends. I do believe I'm being shadow banned. So as a community, we can get the message out there by spreading the word. I'm also available on Patreon and PayPal if you'd like to contribute towards my research and work. Any contribution will be highly appreciated. Thanks a ton for that. And then do remember if you subscribe to hit the notifications bell. And just before I go you can find all the links to 
the, uh, the social media platforms over there as mentioned in the video description below. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more space news and Mars anomalies. Keep well until then. Ciao for now.